Hey everybody, it's Sammy and today we're going to do a cooking sensory story. This is the first video of two part videos where we're going to look at the different resources that you might like to use with your learners. Now you can make this sensory story as part of a actual cooking activity in the kitchen where you're going to make something or it can just be a standalone activity um, just to explore the senses. So the first part of the sensory story is washing our hands um, and I've got some nice bubbly soapy warm water and you could extend this by rubbing in some lotion, doing some hand massage, really getting the learners aware of their hands and some different sensations they might feel from their hands. Um, and again we sent home some task cards for the learners that are able to follow those to wash their hands more independently. The next part of the sensory story is all about sound. So we're going to encourage you to get some pots and pans. And I've got some different ones. I've got some wooden spoons. I've got some metal ones. And so... We're going to see different noises we can make with all our kitchen implements. The next part of the sensory story is all about smell. So you might want to use some preferred smells that you know your learner really likes. Um, you might want to use some strong smells, some contrasting smells, see if there's a preference that your um, learner can show. So got some nutmeg, some black peppercorns, and some herbs. They've all got quite different smells and some of them are quite strong and some of them your learner might like and want more of and some of them your learner might not like and want to tell you finished. The next part of the sensory story is your opportunity to get as messy or as not messy again as you choose. So you might have a learner who prefers dry mixtures or you might have a learner who would love to get their hands stuck in to some cooked pasta, um, some cooked noodles, some wet, sticky materials. So this is about getting the learner to touch and feel. It could be dry rice, dry pasta, flour, porridge, oats. Getting them scooping and pouring and ideally getting their hands in. The next part of the sensory story is about heat. We're recreating the heat of the oven as if we're cooking. So again, um, I have these heat packs that you can put in the microwave or you could use um, like a, a container with a lid on with some warm water in that they could press against or even like a tea towel that's been on the radiator or out of the tumble dryer to give that sensation of heat. And the last part is the taste test. So again, you could just use some preferred food that you know your learner likes. You could use contrasting taste, so a sour lemon, some sweet chocolate. Um, you could just, if you're putting it against the learner's lip or the learner's tongue, looking for a preference, looking for a reaction, linking it into the smell. So just something that you think your learner will respond to in terms of a taste test. Okay, thank you for watching this video and I will see you for part two of our cooking sensory story.